Uh, welcome. Hello, my name is Dr. Thad Parsons. I'm the director of inductee selection at the National Inventors Hall of Fame and Museum here at the United States Patent and Trademark Office in Alexandria, Virginia. The United States Patent and Trademark Office is one of the few federal agencies that actually is um, designated to exist in the Constitution. Here in the museum, our current exhibition is called Exercising Ingenuity, Inventions in Health and Fitness, and it covers uh, patents, trademarks, historical advances, current trends, future technologies, and the way that we recognize those, aka their trademarks, that you would see in everyday life. The exhibition starts with the late 19th century, covering such things as physical culturists and patent medicines. Those cover things like early bodybuilding, early patent medicines such as Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. In the late 19th and early 20th century, sanitariums were a popular location for individuals either who wanted to take a short break from their normal life or who were suffering um, an illness that they thought needed rest and relaxation to um, help cure. The Battle Creek Sanitarium, run by Dr. John Kellogg, was one of the more popular destinations, especially for the well-to-do and the rich and famous. At the Battle Creek Sanitarium, John Kellogg used plenty of cutting-edge techniques to cure his patients. Um, besides helping to invent cornflakes and several other breakfast cereals in Battle Creek with his brother William. Uh, John Kellogg was also interested in various, shall we say, um, non-mainstream alternative remedies. Um, for instance, here on display, we have one of his vibrating chairs. Dr. Kellogg invented this vibrating chair for the sanitarium's mechanical movement room. The chair was designed to help overcome nervous fatigue, muscular weakness, and digestive issues. Here at the National Inventors Hall of Fame and Museum, we do try to keep objects in original condition, and many of the items on display are either workable by visitors or by us on staff. For instance, the vibrating chair does still work. Well, it doesn't actually feel like it's helping, but um, Maybe if I listened to Dr. Kellogg and stayed on it for 20 or 30 minutes in a single sitting, it would possibly improve my health a little. For schedule information and to view programs, visit cspan.org history.